Hello everybody, Justin here from the Royal Botanical Gardens, and I'm here to talk to you about what's underneath your feet. Now I'm not talking about your floors, but I'm talking about what's way beneath that. I'm talking about soil. Now soil can be found pretty much anywhere, and it's that really important stuff that a lot of plants need to help grow. So today I wanted to talk to you about if it's possible to make some soil. Now, before we try and make soil ourselves, we need to know what is soil actually made out of. Now, there's lots of different types of soil, but everything that's in soil can be put into two big categories. One is organic material. So that's all the things that are living or things that came from living things like dead leaves and branches and things like that. And then there is organ inorganic material. And that is all the things that were never living and aren't living. So that's things like water and rocks and the minerals that we can't see. So can you see any organic and inorganic things on the screen behind me here? Now you might have noticed the trees are definitely something organic and the rocks that are behind me are things that are definitely inorganic. So now that we know what soil is made out of, organic and inorganic things, it's time to try and make our own soil. Now to do this, you're going to need uh, one very important tool. A container that has a lid. So it can be any kind of container. I'm using an old yogurt container right now. But you can use absolutely anything. So once you have your container, you're gonna add the ingredients of soil into that container. So that is organic and inorganic things. Now I have here a bunch of dead plant material that I'm going to add into my soil making container as well as a whole bunch of gravel, my inorganic material that I'm gonna put in here. I'm gonna close this up and give it a nice good shake. And now I might have soil on the inside of this container. But before I show you, I want you to go and try and make your own soil. So you're gonna pause the video, find a container, add the ingredients that you need, maybe add things that you think I forgot to add into my container, and see if you can make soil. Once you're done that, come on right back. So, did you make any soil? Well, let's see what I have in my container here. Well, it's not looking too much like soil. I don't think anything's growing out of that stuff anytime soon. Now, even if I had absolutely all the ingredients that you need to make soil, if I added a bit of water, if I added some bugs and worms to break down the organic material, I still wouldn't have soil because there's one ingredient that I can't add into this container and you might have figured it out yourself but it takes a really long time for soil to be made now it can take over 200 years for just one centimeter of soil to be made and it can take thousands of years for there to be enough fresh topsoil for plants to grow in now you might be a little confused because it doesn't take that long for compost to be made. But compost is only one part of soil. It provides a lot of that organic material, but it's missing all of that inorganic material, like little pieces of rocks and minerals. Now that inorganic material is going to help provide the soil structure, help control the amount of water in the soil, and even provide some important nutrients to help plants grow and it's that inorganic material that's gonna be very difficult to make and take a very, very long time. So why is that important? Well, that tells us that soil is a non-renewable resource, and once it's gone, it's gone. So it's definitely very important that we take care of our soils, that we don't destroy it, that we don't pollute it, 
so that our plants can continue to grow happily with the soil that we have around us. So I hope you learned a little bit about soil today. Now, if you have any thoughts, feel free to share them in the comments or share them with hashtag RBG at home. And until next time, have fun exploring.